Why don't planes fly higher? Let's break it down. You've probably heard that commercial planes cruise around 30,000 to 42,000 feet. But have you ever wondered why they don't go higher? Well, it's not just because they don't feel like it. There are some pretty solid reasons behind it. Let's dive in. One, thinner air equals less lift. As planes climb, the air gets thinner. That means there are fewer air molecules for the wings to grab onto, which reduces lift. No lift, no flight. Two, engines need air. Two jet engines aren't magical. They need air to burn fuel and generate thrust. At extreme altitudes, the air is so thin that engines lose efficiency, and that's a problem when you're trying to stay airborne. Three, cabin pressure. Gets risky planes are pressurized to keep you comfortable while flying high. But the higher you go, the greater the pressure difference between inside and outside. That stresses the plane's body, and engineers don't want that pressure pushing the limits of safety. Four, diminishing returns. Sure, thinner air means less drag and better fuel efficiency, to a point. After a certain altitude, the benefits flatten out. You're burning more fuel just to stay up there, and that's not worth it. Five, emergency safety. If something goes wrong, like cabin pressure drops, pilots need time to descend to a breathable altitude. At super high altitudes, oxygen mass won't buy you much time. So staying lower gives everyone a better chance to stay safe. So while flying higher sounds like a good idea, in practice, it just doesn't work out. Planes fly at the sweet spot where performance, safety, and efficiency meet. Curious about what that altitude sweet spot looks like for different types of planes? Let me know in the comments.